my dear students in my previous video i derived associative laws and distributive laws under logical equivalence now in this video we are going to see some more laws under logical equivalence few more laws under logical equivalence first we have so far we have seen idempotent laws commutative laws associative laws and distributive laws and in this video we are going to see some few more laws under logical equivalence those are first one is identity laws we have so far we have seen idempotent laws commutative laws associative laws and distributive laws four type of laws we have seen the fifth one is identity laws identity laws states that one P disjunction tautology. P disjunction tautology equivalence to tautology and P disjunction contradiction. P disjunction contradiction equivalent to P. P disjunction tautology equal to tautology, and P disjunction contradiction equal to P. These two laws we are going to see. These are called identity laws. The second set is also there, and we will, we will see after that. First, we will derive this first set of laws. You know, the single variable P statement is single variable P. Therefore, that only two true values T and F only. and tautology you know both two values are t you know contradiction is yeah yeah now we want p disjunction tautology p disjunction tautology disjunction means any one is t or both are t the value two values t Both are t, two values t. Any one of uh, variable is t, two values t. Therefore, p disjunction tautology is again a tautology. And p disjunction contradiction we are going to see. P disjunction contradiction, contradiction, disjunction with contradiction. What is that? This is. Uh, Disjunction is any one is t. T disjunction f is t. Both are f. Therefore, the disjunction is f. It is again p. Therefore, we are saying p. Therefore, p disjunction tautology is equal to equal to tautology. And second one, p disjunction contradiction is equal to P. So we derive these two identity laws. These two we have derived. This is from this table. We are by using the duality. We are going to derive the second set of identity laws. So, by duality, the second set of identity laws P by duality disjunction is replaced by conjunction and tautology is replaced by contradiction is equal to tautology is replaced by contradiction. So P conjunction. 
one direction is again one direction and P conjunction, disjunction is replaced by conjunction and one direction is replaced by tautology is equal to P. So these two sets are called IND laws. From the first set, by duality, we can replace the second set. P, disjunction tautology is tautology. By duality, P, conjunction contradiction is a contradiction. Second one, P, disjunction contradiction is equal to P. By duality, P, conjunction tautology is equal to P. So, by the same idea, we can derive the second set, and these two are called identity laws. Okay, next. We are complement loss. Next set, we are going to see complement loss. Sixth set of loss are called complement loss. Complement loss. Here also we have two sets. First set is P disjunction negation P. P disjunction negation P is equivalent to tautology and P. Conjunction negation is equal to contraction. P disjunction negation P is tautology and P conjunction negation P is contraction. Second set negation tautology is equal to contraction and Negation contradiction is equal to tautology. These two sets are called complement class. We consider P. P consisting of single variable has only two truth values T and F. And the negation P. T is replaced by F and F is replaced by T. This is negation P. Next, tautology. Both truth values are T. Contradiction. Both truth values are F. Next, negation tautology. Tautology, negation of tautology is T, T is replaced by F, F. Therefore, negation tautology equal to contradiction. And negation contradiction. Negation of contradiction, F, F is replaced by T, T. So, negation of contradiction is tautology. Negation of contradiction is tautology. Negation of tautology is contradiction. These two are derived. Next, first one, P, disjunction, negation, P. P, disjunction, disjunction, anyone is T. Disjunction is T. Anyone is T. Disjunction is T. So, P, disjunction, negation, P is totally first true. And P, Conjunction, negation, P. P, conjunction. Conjunction means both T is T, but anyone T is F. T. Conjunction F is F. F, conjunction T is F. Therefore, P, conjunction, negation, P is contraction. So, these two are first law. Negation, tautology is contraction. Negation contradiction is tautology and P disjunction negation B is tautology, P conjunction negation B is contradiction. So both set of complement laws are derived from this table.
both set of both set of complement class are derived from the about m about root tail that's all this is complement class next we will see isolation loss yes sorry involution loss involution loss are double ligation loss involution Seventh one, involution law or double negation law. These laws are very simple. Complement law. Complement laws are very simple and be derived. Next seventh law, law seventh set of laws are called involution law. It is a single law. Or double negation law. Seventh one. Involution. Involution law. Or double negation. Or double negation law. Double negation law means negation of negation. Negation of negation P is the statement P itself. The double negation. Negation of negation P is P. For that, the truth table, truth table P consisting of truth value T and F only. Negation P is T replaced by F, F replaced by T, and negation of negation P. That means the negation of negation P. F replaced by T and T replaced by F. See, this is something by negation of negation P is T F T F it is P. So first and third columns are equal. So from the table, first and third column are equal. Therefore, negation of negation P is equal to P. It is called involution law or double negation law. Next set is De Morgan law. Eight one. So these laws are very important for solving the problems in the exercise. So next, next to set a De Morgan law. De Morgan's laws. Those are first law is a negation of P conjunction Q is equal to P conjunction Q is equal to negation p negation of p conjunction q is equal to negation p conjunction is replaced by disjunction negation q this is first law second law negation of p disjunction q is equal to negation p conjunction negation q these two laws are called de Morgan laws we derive these de Morgan laws by using two tables. Since we are having two variables p and q, we have four rows. Therefore, first row consisting of p, t, t, f, f. This is p. Next one is q. Alternatively, t and f, t, f. Next, negation p. Negation p. Negation of it, T, T, F, F is F, F, T, T. And negation Q. Negation of Q, replace T by F, F by T. 
T by F, F by T. This is negation Q. Now consider the law. P conjunction Q. P conjunction Q. You know conjunction means both are T. The truth value is T. The rest are F. This is conjunction. Similarly, P disjunction Q. In this case, both are F. The truth value is F. The rest are T. This is conjunction, this is disjunction. Disjunction both are T. Truth value is T, rest are F. Disjunction both are F. The truth value is F. The rest of the results are T. Now, negation P. Negation of P disjunction. Negation of P disjunction. Negation of P conjunction Q, sorry. Negation of P conjunction Q. P conjunction Q is here. Negation is F T T T. T replaced by F. F replaced T. T T T. This is negation of P conjunction Q. F T T T. Negation of P disjunction Q. For this disjunction is this. T, T, T is replaced by F, 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 and F is replaced by T. See, the truth table is interesting of, uh, now one more, the right hand side we want. Negation of P disjunction Q is here. Negation of P disjunction Q is this. Similarly, negation of P, sorry, conjunction Q is this. Negation of P disjunction Q is this. Now, for the first rule, we want negation P, disjunction uh, negation I will write here. Uh, you consider the table. Few more columns you can be on. Therefore, I am erasing here and I am writing. See, for first law, We want negation P disjunction negation. Negation P disjunction negation. Disjunction of negation P negation Q. Disjunction means both or F, the value is F. See, both or F, the value is F. The rest of P. Disjunction of negation P, negation Q, both are F, truth value is F, the rest is T. See, this is, this is equal to a negation of P, conjunction Q, negation of P, conjunction Q, see F, T, 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 F, T, T, T. So, from this, we have first law. These two derive the first law. Next, negation of P, conjunction negation Q. Negation P, conjunction negation Q. In this case, both are T. The truth value is T. Rest are F. Both are F. 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 Here, both are T. Therefore, the truth value is T. T is, this is equal to negation of P disjunction Q. Negation of P disjunction Q. F, 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 T. F, 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 T. So these two are equal. The Deltic shows the first law. The negation of P disjunction Q. Negation of P disjunction Q. Sorry, negation of P conjunction Q is equal to negation P disjunction negation Q. F, T, T, T. F, T, T, T. The intermox shows the second law. Negation of P conjunction Q is equal to negation P conjunction negation Q. Negation of P disjunction Q 
is negation of P, condensed negation of Q. See, F, 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 T, F, 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 T. So, these two laws are derived. Tick shows the first law and Intermark shows the second law. The two laws are derived. The hence the Morgan laws. Hence the Morgan laws. Hence the Morgan laws are derived. See these two columns, I have no space here. Therefore I write in this place, you compare negation of P disjunction Q, sorry, negation of P conjunction Q is equal to negation P disjunction negation Q. Negation of P disjunction Q is negation of P conjunction negation Q. In these two columns, in insufficient of space, I am writing here. I have write, written here. So compare, so we derive the demand rule also. We will stop here. We will continue the exercise problems in the next video. Thank you.